The Vendée Globe is the ultimate solo sailing race. We met the Gitana team at Le Sable d'Alon, France, just days before the event got underway. Held just once every four years, this year's race sees 29 skippers line up to sail alone, non-stop, and without assistance, over 25,000 miles around the globe. My name is Sébastien Joss. I'm part of the Gitana team, and I'm skipper of all the boats of the, in the Gitana team. The Vendée Globe, it's a tough race, because the rule is it's quite hard. Uh, it's around the world, three months, alone, with uh, no assistance. You learn everything, because we are alone in the sea, and you can't take your phone and uh, say, uh, can you help me? <laughs> You have to, to have some knowledge to make sure if you have a trouble on board, you can make the difference like that. You have a survival training, you, you learn to open a life raft, to swim with a dry suit. And if you cut yourself to, to sew it, you have to be strong all the time and to be really positive. And like that, you can go forward. 2016 will be the first Vendée Globe in which teams have used foil technology in their boat designs. This year, seven of the 29 fleet will be looking to capitalize on the top speeds achieved in other races using the groundbreaking design. So the Edmund de Rothschild is indeed a bit special because, as you can see, it's a boat that we fitted with foils. This is something of a first for monohulls. There were trials some years ago, but they weren't very conclusive. And with these foils, today we're surpassing the top speed seen before from monohulls. We've broken the 30-knot barrier that had existed for this sort of boat. Foils is, is mean the boat is, is lighter when you go fast. It's not flying, but it's close to flying. So before a boat cut the waves, because it was heavy, now the boat is really light, and with the foil, it, it go on the top of the waves. It just uh, slides on the way. So it makes the life harder on board because it's a lot of noise and a lot of bad movement. So it's really hard to, to walk on board. You have to, to take a step by step. Based on the architectural data and all the studies we've been able to carry out, as well as the boat's performance, the widespread view is that we could beat the current record by three or four days. But that also hinges on the conditions being conducive, because we mustn't forget that the Fondé Globe is a round-the-world race and there are lots of potential contingencies. But before we think about records, we have to focus on finishing and on being ahead of the rest. The race comes first, and then the records. The innovative design and technology of the Edmund de Rothschild continues on the inside of the monohull, where Joss will spend long hours navigating whilst also trying to get some much-needed rest. So here we are inside the boat, near the nav station. So we have a laptop with all the, the gear to make the weather and the strategy for the race. After you have the bed, it's not just for sleep, it's so slow to make the, the navigation because some, sometimes the boat is so bumpy. You, I can't stay in this panel, I have to, to go lay on my, on my bed. And uh, the last part is the kitchen. Oh. It's a uh, one spot I, to do, I can do everything. I can eat, make a navigation, and sometimes I can go sleep. We sleep when we can, and uh, when we sleep, we sleep 30 minutes, 35 minutes maximum. But why we sleep this uh, short time like that? Because you go outside, you do 360 degrees, look if there's no boat, and you can go again, no cloud with big storms, and when you are confident it's clear, you can go again to, to make a small sleep. With just days to go until the start of the Vendée Globe 2016, both team and skipper look to capitalize on their prior experience for a chance to win this coveted event. In 2004, uh, I, did, I did my first one, so I was really young, the younger sailor in the, in the race and uh, I discovered the world. It's not something you could do like that. You have to, to work a lot before, to train, to learn in the smaller boat, and after, when you, you are strong enough, you can say, okay, today I want to do the Vendée Globe. The challenge is to win. That's the only thing we're interested in, to sail as good a race as we can, but we don't just want to win, we want to do it in style.